Oh my god, it was a close race. I was stressed all the way to the finish line. I was stressed because I wanted Noah to win and Fred Curley was was chasing him like one meter behind so I was like uh, let's go let's go Noah let's go but yeah Noah wins it with a time of 1972 and Fred Curley finished second with a time of 1975 so we can say that my take was pretty good because I, I said that Noah's gonna finish first, Curly 2 and the grass third, the grass finished fourth with the same time as uh, Jer Jeremy Richards. So I was pretty close and yeah, that's that's a really good race. I want to see more of, of race like this when it's very, very close and you can just don't see who's winning. Just more race like this and yeah, Noah is in good shape, he's like dropping the time little by little. Of course for the moment Arian is still the fastest but remember when Michael Norman dropped a 43-45 back in 2019 and he didn't run faster uh, all the season. So maybe Arian is doing the same thing and he's not gonna run faster by the season. But I don't think so because he's very consistent but we'll see. So I'm really happy and if Noah run right now 1972 we can see some 1940 at the end of the season for sure. So yeah it's my take on it. Tell me in the comment what do you think Noah will run and Eugene uh, if he's gonna win, Arian gonna win, Curly maybe. To finish I, I just want to talk about Curly a little bit so I just think that he's got too hyped for the last season and he's not gonna produce some big time like last season I, j I just don't got him like in my top three and the one and the 200 for for the for Eugene I mean in the 100 we have Christian Coleman, Marcel Jacobs and Trevor Bromel and in the 200 we have Noah Lyles that came on faster, Andre de Grass and Arian that's what I think is gonna happen, but we'll see. We'll see uh, when the season progresses, the time, and etc. So just like, subscribe to the channel if you like the video, and see you in the next.